Hey there everyone and welcome back to Making Motor Moves. Today we are on to part three of the Formula Engine rebuild, refresh, whatever you want to call it. I've got the two engines pretty much where I want them. There's a few more things to do, but boom, we got a bunch of new parts. Ignition coils, distributors, spark plug wires, spark plugs, filters. I think that's all. I think I covered it. I still need to get alternators and starters for the engines and fuel pumps, but it's a start. I got these parts in. I'll be replacing all the spark plug wires, new spark plugs, new distributor caps. The points and rotor inside will get replaced as well. Oil filter, fuel filter. Am I forgetting anything else? Don't think so. Oh, coil. It'll be interesting to see if these have been done before. They might have. I don't know, but we'll find out. That's all part of the fun. And I'm kind of on a time crunch now because it is finally the end of February. We're moving into March. Boat season is approaching fast. So I need to get these guys all set and good to go so I can get them dropped back into the boat and we can hit the water into March maybe, early April. We'll see. Anyway, enjoy this video. If you guys are new to making motor moves or if you're watching our videos and haven't liked the page or subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. We'd really appreciate it. Here we go. We'll get into it and show you guys what we're doing. That guy right there, 1987 Formula 242 SR1, only made for one year, or actually two model years. And it's one of like 30 boats, super cool. These are the engines in it, remember? Small block Chevys, 350 cubic inches, 5.7 liters, 270 horsepower a piece, V8s, American. What am I missing? Made by Mercruiser, paired to Alpha Drives, counter-rotating Alpha Drives sitting over there. What other specs can I throw your guys away? Again, just a quick update. These engines aren't getting rebuilt. Um, they're just getting refreshed. So new accessories, new fluids, filters, essentially anything that's not inside the engine is getting replaced on it and updated. So thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> First things first, we're gonna pull our spark plug wires off and then rip out all of our spark plugs. We got four on this side for a small block Chevy, all evenly spaced, all faced at 90 degrees out. This guy already came unplugged. Oh, look, it's already loose. Just kidding, I did that before. It didn't run like that. Anyway, pop these off. What I'll do is, so I don't lose the order that the spark plug wires are in, and I don't have to sit here and do the headache of re-timing everything and figuring out the correct timing that these are all placed in. I will immediately go and find the wire with my new wires that are over there on the shelf and I will route the new wire in where the old one went and just plug it right in to where it went so I don't have to worry about the headache of getting all these figured out again. Boom, the new spark plug wires are blue. They match the boat. So I will take the new spark plug wires. These are recommended for the Thunder Bolt Four Thunderbolt four ignition timing, electronic timing, high energy ignition. These wires are recommended for this system. So I went ahead and bought them. They were only 32 bucks. All these parts for the engines I can put in the description for the video so you guys can find all the links, but they're just parts that I bought off Amazon and, and we got good NG, NGK plugs, distributor caps also made in China. And then some nice Quicksilver, who is Mercury's company, uh, filters, fuel and, and oil. Oh, and then here are our uh, ignitions. Those are a little bit nicer. It looks like that my spark plugs are a 5 8 inch socket. So we'll just pull the wires off here, pop those on. Yep, that's perfect size. We'll rip through this on time lapse. You should just be able to get them out with your fingers after that. They're a little worn, a little dirty. They got a little carbon buildup on them, but that's why you change your spark plugs. Pull that guy out, put the new one in, and uh, find the correct length 
wire for the new one. V power. Oh, by the way, I just thought of something. Here, let me show you real quick. I got replaced by distributor caps. So I'm not gonna replace the spark plug wires until I do the distributor cap. So what I'm gonna do is get all the new spark plugs in and then I'll go wire by wire after I get the new distributor cap on so I can just transfer it all over from old distributor cap to the new one. You know, this hood makes an incredible table. I like to lay all my cables out so I know what length they are, and then I can match them up easier with the old cables. But right now I'm gonna take my new distributor cap, place it right here, and then they transfer over each individual wire so it's all set up right, and then get that cap bolted down after I replace the rotor and internals in here. So we'll show you that. I got the cap off and everything transferred over. That's set and ready to go back on here once I get the internals cleaned up. It's a little gross. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little gross inside there, but that's what it's expected with a marine application like this. It's probably never been opened. I'm trying to get this guy off. It's giving me a hard time right now. Not quite sure why. Maybe it's just on there really good. Oh, be careful. I really don't want to break anything. Oh, I got some movement. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Corrosion, lots of corrosion. Gotta love that. Yeah, I might take the vacuum to this, clean up some of the corrosion in here, guys. Yeah, look at all the grossness. Lots of it. I'm gonna take the vacuum to it and then get some WD-40 or something, clean up that shaft. Other than that, I don't see any reason why not to reuse this distributor itself. All it is is just the metal housing. All the electrical components come from this, so. Throw that guy away. Don't need it anymore. That's a little better. Got her cleaned up. Now we'll get her sprayed down. I just hit this guy with a little bit of lubricant. Got rid of some of the corrosion on there, but then also hit it with a little electronic cleaner to hit where the thunderbolt ignition part comes in. That's for electronic timing. So just hit that with some cleaner, but all that looks good. The boat ran fine when I pulled this all off, so I'm gonna start slapping it back together. By the way, when you get this guy on here, there's a little tab that uh, I don't know if you can see. But there's a little tab on the center shaft for alignment. Just make sure you get that tab lined up or just remember how it sat originally. So that guy should slide right on, maybe with a little convincing. All right, looks like it's fully seated. It's looking pretty nice there with the timing part. But uh, yeah, just make sure you get these down all the way. And now we'll throw our new, try clean that up a little bit since I got it all dirty. It's so nice and shiny. So yeah, now what we'll do is take our distributor cap. I made sure to keep everything clocked in the right direction and it should just flop right back on with the gasket. This is the gasket I'm talking about, by the way. It's got a nifty little spot for it to fit in. And she goes. Got her all squared up. Now I'm gonna do the spark plugs and hopefully I don't mess it up. Maybe I'll do the coil too. Now I'll do the coil. Yeah, and the spark plugs. If you guys were interested in curious the coil actually holds charge and provides charge to the distributor cap which then it disperses your electrical charges individually out to each of these wires when they're rotor 
hits their point and sends a charge to your spark plug. Your spark plug then of course sparks, igniting the fuel that's in that chamber for that cylinder and creates your combustion, which gives you horsepower and all sorts of other fun, amazing noises that come out of these exhaust pipes. And then next at the rear of the boat, straight pipe, no mufflers. Gotta love it. Gotta love that sound. There's nothing like it. Check this out. Our new AA ignition. Also said it's good for Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 5 ignition systems for Mercury. We don't need that box anymore. Look at this guy. Woo! Part number AA142. Looks like it was manufactured July 15th of 2020. Pretty neat. But look at that. Nice and new. Even comes with new bolts. So I'll use our new nuts, so I'll use those. This guy, you just have to watch positive and negative. Just put it in the exact same way that the, the old one was in there. So I'll take my old wires, put them over here. Old wires here and just slide that guy in. Pretty simple. This one right here is the coil wire. It's got the piece that goes down into the coil. All the rest of yours are gonna have open-ended pieces like here. And then you're also gonna figure out which ones go on your distributor cap and which ones go to your spark plug based on their size. But anyway, I think that should be your distributor cap one. That should be your spark plug, a little bit bigger. These are gonna look slick, not much. But it's honest work. Get rid of the old stuff. Get that new stuff on there. Done. We got all the blue plugs installed. They gave me an extra one. You guys saw me messing with it there for a while. I was actually messing with different cord lengths. So the new cords were shorter, a little bit shorter than the old ones over there on the shelf. So I was figuring out which one was best for longer spots and shorter spots and just kind of mix them around. But looks pretty good. Black and blue. Now we just got to do the other one, add a little more flair and then I guess I'll just keep this extra piece and just throw it on the shelf with all the old stuff. Let me see if I can spin them without leaking more oil everywhere. I'm just going ahead and putting the new filter on right now so I don't spill any more oil anywhere. Now, guys, these filters, you only need to screw on like hand tight. You don't need to torque them down like, whoops, whoops. Wasn't well, supposed to say that word. Gosh dang it. I need my oil dry. Good enough for now. And I just kicked the oil dry. Why do I do that? Last filter time. You guys need to come over here. You need to make me walk all the way around. Ugh! You're on a big tripod. That's tighten. That's loosen. All right. Oh. Oh. Hey, by the way, Morgan Wallen, you ever heard of him? It's pretty good. I like them at least. I'm not joking when I say I've gone through two GoPro batteries tonight. While you guys were dead, I got a fuel filter off. And it's pretty much set up the same way as the uh, other filter. It looks like it's in decent shape. <laughs> Goodbye. And then we have the new one, 3580-2893. Q01, whatever this Quicksilver part number is, but it's the same part. And they're white, I kind of like it. The white with the blue makes it look fancy. Ah, boom. Oh, shoot. I'm losing it. 
Will you just stay there? You're always falling off. Just hand tight, right? That's all you need. Doesn't need to be crazy. And that's it. Now I got a whole other engine to do. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. It's getting closer and closer to boating season every single day. And we got to be prepared. So that's what we're doing. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> By the way, you like what we're doing like the page subscribe to the channel go follow us on social media making motor moves yeah help us out sweet thank you